At least these guys drop medicine pretty often. So I'm not I'm not really in any any danger of losing that. Alright, so yellow is you know, uncommon. Blue is rare, which is par for the course for for this game. For games like this, rather. Familiarity damage bonus, combat key reduction. My controller just went out of sync for a second. Come on. I don't want to equip that. Hey. Oh god. Oh god, is this one of those games where- okay. I thought this was one of those games where when the controller comes undone for a sec, you uh... Yeah, look, parry! How do you parry? Silver, welcome! You're on mobile? I uh, hope it runs somewhat well, at least. Sammy, welcome. Happy 4th. Happy 4th. Seriously, there is so much equipment here. Look how many weapons I have in the first level of the game. Like I said, it's, it's mildly obnoxious. Only mildly, though. Oh god, oh god. Put the Bastard Sword on. Okay. What's up, boy? Aye! Aye! Aye, Gov! Aye, Gov! Yeah! Alright. Well, hell, might as well come over here and pick up more medicine. Another tower. William, this way. Oh, my character's name is William? Um, this looks like a boss fight. That looked like a boss fight to me. I don't know about any of you. That looked like a boss fight arena. And I know from seeing my share of boss fight arenas. So that being said, we're going to go up here and go up instead. Okay, so this is just a way to get a, get the drop on this guy, which doesn't make much sense to me, because he wasn't even that tough. Alright, so... Let's see. Yup. Yup. Something's happening. Oh, shit! Derek the Executioner! Derek! I'm enjoying a treat, Derek! Okay, what? Well, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh shit, bosses can work you over real quick. You did the cl Camp Gladiator workout and your legs feel like jelly. This is why you don't skip leg day, Sammy. Never skip leg day. Um, did I ever go this way? I don't think I did, but there's nothing over there. Um, I have no memory of this. Did we ever actually go up this way? Right, because the boss is this way. Alright. Derek! Derek! I'm enjoying a treat, Derek! He really doesn't have that much health. So I got that going for me. Oh shit! I, I I thought while his while his guard was in the red, he uh okay. I noticed he he does have a stamina meter. Like bosses have their own stamina meter. I can see the comment section already. Wow, you lost to the first guy. 
You lost to the first oh. boss? It's you. The man with the guardian spirit. Okay. Nosferatu looking motherfucker. If I die, the secret of the stones dies with me. Joke's on you, I've already died multiple times. Oh shit, he's an alchemist! No, Derek! It's time for your execution. Oh god! Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Derek! No, no, Derek! 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 Oh my god! Alright, so he, he fights the same way, he's just bigger and bulkier. Oh my god! Living weapon? Cutscene kill? That is not satisfying. Well done. Quite a feat. Oh man, my weapon is different. Oh yeah. Oh no, there goes my living weapon. No! Spirit friend. That's mine! I own that! There's guns! Um, um, yep, no choice, no choice! Not like the armor's gonna- the armor's gonna make me sink or anything, and I got shot in the back, I'm dead. Death is an entry to life. I'm awake. Phoenix down, motherfucker. Achievement unlocked, a long journey begins. Keto friendly biscuits and gravy. You might have to send me that recipe. I'm on a boat! Well, yeah, did you see how we fucking died? During two years' voyage, the Helloff was lost. The trow sank. Why the hope vanished without a trace. Oh, they're all ship names. The good news of the Blida boats happened. Blida, what the what? <laughs> Only leaf that remained. Are we going to America? twist but what awaited us in the far east wasn't love oh god it was monsters and death neo okay well when they say far east are they talking about japan or the other kind of map where europe is on the left and america's on the right I don't know. Before I pre begin my preparations for landfall, I leaf once more through the curious book I had chanced upon. Recorded inside of the memoirs of a sailor who had once paid visit to the land of Zapangu. 
precisely how this document wound up in the hold of this ship when its author clearly belonged to the crew of a different boat is beyond me. But here I am, poring over its pages all the same. And not for the first time this voyage, I may add. What fascinated me above all else were the memoir's many accounts of Zapangu's diverse armor and weaponry. Um, Sammy, you should be able to direct message me the, uh, the, uh, you should be able to direct message me the, the link through Twitch chat. Okay, so we have preferred weapons here. Let's think, okay, so we have sword, dual swords, spears, axes, uh, kunai, I don't care what you say, that's a kunai, odachi, which is... I mean, is that is is that a katana? That's a katana, right? Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. A sword with an elongated elongated blade. It's a little slow to swing for an attack, but the wide range and tremendous power of the weapon make up for it. Furthermore, this sword enables its wielder to switch stances during an offensive, allowing a high degree of freedom to fluidly string techniques together. Stances? What? Uh yes. Yes, bravo. No, this is this is a this is a family friendly channel. Aside from the coarse language and violence. There will be no pornography in the chat. Um Sammy, you can you you can send me it send it to me later on, that's fine. And oh tonfas. So like unarmed slash fist fisticuffs. A pair of batons, each with a handle and one held in each hand. They allow for numerous high-speed skills and excel at whittling away the enemy's key. While they make it easy to deal with incoming attacks, they can just as easily be used offensively. However, the limited range means the wielder must remain close to their opponent. Okay, so Odachi would be strength-based. Kunai is dexterity. Axe is stamina slash strength, I imagine. This is body slash dexterity, I'm guessing. And then dual swords. That's interesting. Very interesting. A pair of swords, one held in each hand. A single blow from either blade lacks power, but they, en they enable rapid consecutive attacks when used together. They make an excellent choice of weapon when surrounded by numerous assailants. Sounds good. Have a good one, Sammy. The less you expect this to be Dark Souls, the more you'll enjoy this game. It is not a Dark Souls clone. More like Diablo. I noticed that. It's like, it's like, I don't want to keep making the cons the comparison to Dark Souls, but it's like Dark Souls mixed with, like, the Diablo loot system, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It means that there's great variety in the, the gear that you pick up. So, yeah, you, you know, one piece of gear could be hell of a lot stronger than another piece of gear, even though it's the same piece of gear. You know what I mean? Um... Not gonna lie, I kind of want to do the Odachi. Like, I want to. I, I was looking for like a base katana, cause I was told the EI Jutsu style of playing is in this game, where it's like you know the Japanese quick draw. And I'm not seeing regular katana in here. Wait, that's regular katana. A single-handed sword, primarily a slashing weapon with a wide attack range. It can also be used for thrusts and have the long reach. This is a well-balanced weapon that's easy to use. So it's base sword, right? It's just a base sword. Odachi is like a huge katana, if I remember correctly. Like, almost like a two-handed sword. So I want the regular sword. If I want to go, like, EI Jutsu and whatnot. Alright, we've wasted long enough. I imagine it doesn't really matter what you select. It's just you get an, an attribute bonus right off the bat. So I get heart plus one if I go with this. So I get more life, I imagine. Let's go. The sailor from the memoir seems to have spent quite some time in Zapangu and succeeded in keeping the company of samurai. He writes in detail the est of establishments in Zapangu called dojo, where people, including samurai, congregate for instruction in the martial disciplines. Just reading the sailor's vivid accounts, I feel as though I am there in the flesh watching these warriors as they train. The samurai is master of many armaments trains for combat in every imaginable scenario. If I were to use another weapon, which one would I choose? Oh, you get to choose another weapon! Okay. So, you know what? Let's cover all of our bases. If we can't use the one-handed sword, 
We might as well go the two-handed sword. Odachi! The memoir also asserts that the samurai are knowledgeable in the martial arts. First, they know which fighting stance to use in each situation, high, mid, or low. Second, after each attack, they ready themselves for the next strike by focusing their ki, or inner energy. Third, once their ki is readied, the samurai can use purification techniques to rid their surroundings of malevolence. I know not how to explain it, but I feel as though I have some innate ability to grasp all these concepts, and have experimented many times with each technique. The memoir states that Pangu is home to the 8 million gods and other deities. Exactly how this figure was derived, I can only imagine, but as I cast my gaze to the shore, I am struck by the sensation that some mystical power has been keeping watch over me. It is an energy that reminds me of... Uh, Sayorsi? Sayors? Say, say... Oh, fucking hell. I suck with names. Uh, I'm just gonna go with uh, Say Horsey. Say Horsey. She's, she is now Say Horsey. And no one else can tell me different. I pull out the memory once more and survey each page until I arrive at the guardian spirit that best matches the force I am sensing. Guardian spirits? What? Oh, shit! A wolf? Okay, wolves, wolves are my favorite animal, so I don't even want to look at the others, but... A wolf and guardian spirit of the fire elemental strengthens the attacking power of those in, prote in its protection. A shark? Oh, shit. Amplifies the ability of those in its protection to sense enemies. And the hawk. Guardian spirit of the wind elemental increases the evasive abilities of those in its protection. Well, I was going to pick wolf anyway because I want offensive shit. All right, so we have base sword, Odachi, and Kato, the wolf, meaning that we get plus one heart and plus two strength. And that sounds good to me. Wait, okay, or begin the tutorial mission? Uh, I feel like we need the tutorial mission. Because I have no clue how to parry. And I have no clue what else is going on here. This dojo is a training ground for samurai. It is filled with the blood, sweat, and tears of the uncounted warriors who polish their techniques within its walls. These long traditions and secrets are handed down from generation to generation of samurai. This is a sparring program. Oh god, it's like the fucking Matrix. This is a sparring program. Here you'll be able to hone your techniques. In it, we have your base rules, rules like gravity. What you must remember is that these rules are similar to the style of the Matrix. Some can be bent, others can be broken. Do you understand? Then hit me if you can. No, you may proceed to the next tutorial. Hey! What's this? Read? Alright, quick attack, strong attack, that's fine. Why would they give you this now? Why isn't this an option from the main menu? Alright, so lock on, switch target. Yep, I already know all that. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, so guarding guarding blocks damage completely. Next. All right, so switch stance. R, B, and Y, X, and A. High stance emphasizes attack power. It allows for powerful techniques. Mid stance is good for defense. It has a wide range of techniques and is easier to use. It is easy to use, rather. Low stance is good for dodging. It doesn't consume much key and also maintains your guard as you move. Oh, it's different now. Interesting. So it's 
Oh man, this this opens up so many opportunities. That means each weapon can be held like this, right? Or is it just katanas? I don't know. We're going to find out. Yeah, I'm drinking coffee too, bravo. Hi, 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 Combat feels really good. I'm not going to lie. Combat feels really, really good. Mid stance. Just beat the shit out of him. Key pulse. RB while blue light gathers around you after an attack. A key pulse recovers your key. The amount varies based on your timing. The maximum amount is determined by your key gauge. What is this like? What is this like active reload bullshit? What? It's pretty much like active reload. You literally can recover a lot of your key in just one foul swoop. That is interesting. That's something that Dark Souls never had. Seems like a tacked on mechanic to me, but hey. Yokai Realm, another world born, born from the Yokai. When you are in the Yokai Realm, your key recovery speed is greatly reduced. Conversely, the powers of the Yokai themselves are enhanced there. Purify recovers a maximum amount of key from a successful key pulse in the Yokai Realm. It also cleanses the defilement of the Yokai Realm from your person, restoring you to normal. The Yokai Realm. So what does this do? What does this do? Okay, it forces you to spend more key and you recover key much more slowly. There we go. Awesome. Cool. Ooh, excuse me. Wooden axe. Change melee weapons. Now, question is. Okay, yep, nope, confirmed. You can only change stances with katanas. Okay, so it's a little confusing that RB and B just simply sheets the weapon because that almost looks like EI Jutsu, which is you sheath your sword, you draw it super quickly. So it seems like it almost seems like B was going to be used for something and then they decided, nah, nah, we're just gonna make that the idle part. I don't know. Holy shit. Um, press right, R trigger while holding left trigger. Ammo to- Oh my god, there's actual, like, aiming and shit in this game? What? Excuse you? Okay, uh, Tena- Tenagashima matchlock? Like, as in an actual rifle? <laughs> Oh my god, headshots are a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, confirm. Headshots are a thing. Holy crap. Oh, okay.
That is the fastest reload for a, a flintlock rifle ever. Spirit stones. Item shortcuts. I know this is probably boring to watch the, uh... What the hell? Himaroki flat fragment? Uses up all your emerita, but allows you to quit a mission and return to the starting point. And so, that's basically like, oh. So... So, what is Amrita and what does it do for me? Teach me! Living weapons. When the Guardian Spirit Amrita gauge is full, press B and Y. Guardian Spirit skill. While living weapon is active, press B and Y together. Triggering a living weapon charges changes the health gauge and key gauge into the living weapon gauge. As long as the living weapon gauge is active, you are impervious to damage and your close combat attacks inflict more damage. The living weapon gauge decreases over time and when an anim and an when and when enemy attacks land, rather. Once the gauge is fully depleted, its effects wear off. When a living weapon is active, press B and Y to perform your guardian spirit's unique skill. Holy shit! Okay. This is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. End the tutorial. Yes, I think we're ready. It's fucking spirit animals and shit. This is way more in-depth than I thought. We're already over an hour into this, by the way. Alright. I think I'm ready. Let's move on. The dinghies have been ready for us to make landfall. For all I have read on this country, nothing can truly prepare me for what lies, what now lies ahead. I put the memoir down and leave my cabin. Kuroshima is a tiny island off the coast of Usuki in Kyushu's Bungo province. Okay, so we're definitely in Japan. There is little in the way of usable land, with coastline rapidly giving way to cliffs and mountains. Clinging to its edge is the smallest of fishing villages, its residents eking out subsistence farming on plots carved out from the hills. Their frugal lives stand in stark con contrast to the village elder, whose opulent mansions perches atop the island's tallest peak. Strangely oversized for the small island which it overlooks. Gee, it's almost like this darkest dungeon. This is like an island hamlet. And we're attacking at night, because of course we are. What the hell was that? I saw something crawling on him. April 1600. Wait, wasn't it just like 1530 something? They are feeding you a lot of information at once, but... Skill points obtained. Open the status menu via that and learn new skills. Alright, so hang on. Weapon first. Weapon first. Yes. Alright, skill customization. Is that it? Oh my god, there's more we're learning later? I can't even do that yet. Alright, so skill points. Grapple. Holy shit, there's so much. Oh, that's it! EI quick draw! Yes, pronounced EI. Gathers power while keeping your sword in its scabbard for a quick draw and rapid strike. Can only be used when your sword is your sword is sheathed. Hold RB. And press B. That's what I was talking about. That's exactly what I was talking about. The RB and B is a sheath stance for EI Jutsu. 
I knew it! Holy shit, that's so cool! Oh my god, every <laughs> there's there's individual stat trees for each so for each branch of weapon. Holy shit. Okay. Um Whew. Ooh, this is a lot to take in. This is a fucking lot to take in. What the fuck is this ninja? Uh, on me, you magic? What? There's so much already. Alright, so key pulse is enabled by default. You can actually learn techniques for each weapon. Holy shit. Disperse this key from your sword to stun surrounding enemies. When living weapon is active, hold Y to quickly select. Okay, I like that there's movies to show everything. I like that there's movies. Yes, that's everything I've ever wanted. Uh, yep. Yep, nope. I'm gonna be very happy with the EI style of playing. So, we're learning that. Sword of Execution. Increases damage dealt when attacking an enemy from behind with a sword. You need to clear missions in order to get those? Dude, this isn't this isn't a small skill tree either. There's like ten branches to this thing. Woo! Uh, Fernando, while I appreciate your help, man. Let me learn. Let me learn. If I must learn the hard way, then so be it. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so good. Oh, did I accidentally kill that thing? That oh man, those are save points? Okay. Holy shit. Use Amrita to improve stats. Change Guardian Spirit so I'm not locked into the wolf. That's one thing. Make an offering. offering offer an item to the shrine to receive Amrita. Boons. Claim DLC items. I have the complete edition of the game, so I do have DLC items. I assume. You have received the items below. Uh, Dom Dharma Chakra Kabuto, Smithing Text Dharma Chakra Kabuto. Is that it? Oh, okay. Now the question is, should I go online? Let's go online and find out how badly I get my ass kicked. I am so sorry I hit you, little guy. Don't don't hold it against me. I'm learning. All right, so Dama Chakra Kabuto. Damage reduction, toughness, fire, and water re defense, and key recovery speed. It looks kind of out of place, considering the rest of my equipment, but it's pretty badass looking too. Alright, so I assume the elixir is my my potions for now. Alright, so it's every man for himself. So what's the point of the tutorial if they're just gonna teach you like this anyway? Alright, so I already have enough Emerita to level up, so I might as well ch ch just take take a look at this. Oh god, body, heart, stamina, strength, skill, dexterity, magic, spirit. It's interesting that skill and dexterity are two different things. Amount required to activate the special effects of heavier weapons and armor. Amount required to activate the special effects of more technical weapons and armor, like dual swords, tonfa, and guns. <sighs> Determines the effect and capacity of your ninjutsu. Omeo magic. 
Guardian Spirit. Weapons affect mainly affected spears. Swords and bow. Okay, so I need more heart. I need stamina. More than likely, because it affects weight capacity. Well, we'll just we'll, we'll put one into heart for now, because it seems like we can't go wrong with more life and more sword damage. Break the boxes. Okay, well, there was nothing in that box. Oh, shit! Okay. Ready? Oh, God. Oh! Oh, my God, I cut his head off. <laughs> yes, I love it! I love it! It's so good! It's so good! Should have run sooner. Foot soldier armor. So what the hell is that? Is that currency? There's currency in this game too? Like currency besides Amrita? Holy fuck, there's so much. There is so much. I'm kind of disappointed that I don't get to take my tutorial stuff with me, but granted I did have an absorb an abhorrent amount of weapons and armor to start. Is that? What is this? Bloody Grave, Isuki the Brick, level three. Fight Revenant. Drowned. So this guy died by drowning. So what does it mean to fight a revenant? I feel like this is a bad idea. I feel like this is probably a bad idea. Oh my god. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Pop. Oh my god. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What the hell was that? He activated ability. Oh, hey! So... Revenants give you more stuff. Pirate armor. Mengu, which is... Much weaker. Gold earned. Yeah, there's gold in this game. Yokai equipment drop rate. Pirate armor. There we go, I dig it. Gives me more Emrita. Kind of like PvP. Um, are you friendly? You're not friendly. Ah! Yeah! Oh shit! Yeah! Alright, alright. Only I had weapons. I could have fought back. I literally found a weapon on the first guy here. That was your own damn fault if you died. Alright, so first area, and there's already a lot of shit happening here. Um, I feel like I should probably go back and pray just to recover my life, because I don't want to... These guys are dropping way less healing items than the previous area. It's kind of... Kind of misleading. Like the opening area gives your healing items out the ass. You would think, oh, there's your replenishing healing items right there. Elixirs are replenishing healing items. That is good to know, and I am getting my ass kicked. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop it. Ugh! So, wait, since I leveled up, how much ammo does it take to level up now? 500. 500 needed to level up. Mm 
Yeah. Oh god. There's like there's dashing attacks too. Cuz I just did a jump a jump slash. Okay. So the EI Jutsu style that I'm trying to use right now is seems inconsistent because like that works fine. But then other times it'll just simply sheath the weapon. That guy was uh, was in a weakened stance, by the way. I should have killed him, but it's fine. Stone, pebbles, my old friend. All right, so let's uh, let's move on, shall we? Ah, ah. Kill the bastards myself. <laughs> Bad time, buddy. Oh, why why the cock tease of an open treasure chest? Oh, that sucks. That's rough. So these guys are like what, ruffians or something? Yeah, like right there. It did not it did not charge. Like sometimes it charges, sometimes it doesn't. Ugh! That is satisfying. It feels good. It feels really, really good. What is that? Hi, buddy. What's what's up? Um, hello? Hello? No, it's okay. Hey, buddy. Wait, what? Guide Kodama to shrine. What? Uh, as in take him to a shrine? I'm not even that far away from a shrine, so I don't mind running back. So wait, you can lose your legendary equipment through PvP? Is that what you're telling me? Like, that's awesome, but at the same time, oh, hey, yeah, there's two Kodamas now. The ability to receive Kodama Blessing has been unlocked.